All right, guys, it's the part with the twins. Um, first thing you want to do, break these boxes, see what sort of ammo you have lying around. We got some shotgun rounds. Hey, we got a grenade. Look at that. that. That grenade wasn't there last time. This is a great checkpoint. If you need shotgun rounds, pick them up. Uh, reload this checkpoint because there's items next, boxes next to you, and they tend to give items. Um, what we're going to do also, we're going to see what sort of ammo we have to spare. If you take a look, we have some shotgun ammo here. We're already full. So we're going to be using this, and I'll show you how that matters in a second. We're going to trigger this cutscene. Uh, we got the first twin here who's going to knock off this guy's head, which is great because I think that guy would be an asshole. <clears throat> but what you want to pay attention to is he doesn't have his club yet, and that's what we're going to take advantage of. As soon as you get control, run past him as he's picking up his club. And then what you're going to want to do is just keep running to this big old, this weird statue thing. Get inside. Hey, look, an electric bolt. They can't hit you in here. They really can't. You can even see the animation as if they were about to hit you, but they can't hit you in here. Now, this takes forever, mind you. This will take forever. Uh, but essentially, Joseph can kill them by himself. <clears throat> and... Um, it's very, very useful for consuming, conserving ammo. Uh, we have, like I said, we have four shotgun rounds to spare. Um, I really like the fact that we have a grenade. Uh, now, what can happen is a lot of the times Joseph will like, I don't want to say glitch out, but he'll be like, oh, I can't handle them by myself, and he'll stop shooting. Basically, you have to just, there we go. Give a little peek until Joseph moves. Uh, that was a good one, actually. A lot of times you need to actually have them see you looks like there's some sniper ammo over there as well i'm not gonna get it during the fight but see how he's shooting them that's what you're hoping for now careful of this guy because he can throw his club at you um so if you're peeking out and he throws his club at you that's no good because it can hit you and it is still a one hit kill even if it just barely touches you now, when I need to, I'm going to use, or when I can, I'm going to use some of the shotgun ammo as well. Uh, they're doing something really weird right now. I don't know what's going on with this path. There we go. That's what I'm used to. I'm used to them both, like, being right up there and swiping at Joseph. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to get their attention a little bit. And I'm going to hide again. Now, I have, like I said, I have four shotgun shells to spare. I believe I also have a, an explosive bolt to spare, but I'm not going to do that right now because I can't guarantee it. So the only thing I'm going to be using is four shotgun rounds. So you can hear Joseph firing in the background, <clears throat> and it works out great. And that's all you really need to do. Just hang out in here. It will take a while, but this is a kumu mode. It ain't for babies. It ain't for the impatient either. See how he threw his, uh, threw his uh, thing at me? We definitely want to stay away from that. <laughs> um, you don't want to use that electric bolt. Like I said, those are rare. We don't. We, we want to get through the game without building them uh, because they do cost four. All right, Joseph's not shooting at him. So I'm going to try and get, there we go. Try and get their attention a tad. Just kind of tell like Joseph, like see how he puts his gun down. Come on, Joseph. All right, they're heading to me, so I want to, you know, definitely want to be careful. And this is essentially how it is. Uh, it, like I said, it does take a while. I have four shotgun rounds to spare. Um, how many rounds of this can I hold? Three and five. So I def I don't want to use any sniper rounds because I don't know how many I'm going to get by there. And I will need those sniper rounds by Chapter 7. Now, um, regarding Chapter 7, uh, regarding Chapter 7, um... I don't know if we're going to get sniper rounds by the time we get to chapter 7, but I don't want to take any chances. Just take the time. Be patient. And when you see them doing something like that, you have your chance. Go ahead. If you have ammo to spare like I do, use your shotgun ammo there. If you don't, you got some shotgun ammo already. Uh, even if you couldn't find it in the locker back there. I forgot that shotgun ammo was there, so... We should be set up for the dog. I only have one more shotgun round. I, f I feel comfortable. Come on, Joseph. Shoot him. Uh, I feel comfortable using because I know there's four uh, available to me at least.
Yes, you can. Uh, he's reloading. All right, I'm gonna wait till he turns away. Try and trigger Joseph. And that's really who we're triggering. Is tr we're trying to trigger Joseph to fire at him. Now, every time we peek out, there we go. Come on, Joseph. Uh, if you're having trouble with these controls, uh, you can't aim while you're in here. So you kind of just have to take like little circles to try and turn around. And unfortunately, it does affect the angle you see at. It's not just where uh, Sebastian is. It's where his head is that, that matters what you can see and what you can't see. So I'm gonna stop the video here, and I'll uh, uh, I'll I'll uh, fade into when we are done with these guys. Come on, Joseph. He's got like very little health yet left comparatively. There we go down <clears throat> and that's what it should look like we got both of them down musical stop you'll get this whole deal dead end. <clears throat> look for another route. Let's meet up like and this is essentially the end of chapter six um this way let's go around picking up some ammo let's see here i definitely could have used three more shots of this uh could have keyword I didn't because I wasn't sure how much was in there. So now that you know there's five in there, uh, bring yourself down to five ammo. But this is a very good area because you can pass the complete area without using any ammo and because it gives you a fair amount of ammo. Uh, by the way, come over this way and you'll get some gel there. <clears throat> you get gel there and we're going to get our shotgun rounds. Um... You don't have to worry about blowing up uh, those things either because uh, at least one of them, usually this one, if you're fast like I showed you, uh, will be broken down. Ooh, I'm dragging them. Uh, but they give you, you know, they give you ammo. There's another explosive bolt, which there were two of them. So I could have even used an explosive bolt on these guys, considering how many I had. Um, I feel like I'm still missing something. A statue, maybe? The box over here. With pistol ammo, so I could have used some more pistol ammo as well. But you can do that whole part. Uh, you can do that whole part without worrying about uh, getting hit, really. As long as you're patient. Uh, it did take a while. I want to say it took about 20 minutes. But we're going to end this chapter and we're going to move on to the next chapter. Uh, I hate wasting ammo. I hate leaving it because I can't exactly come back for it, you know? Anywho. Let's get this going. We're going to pick this up just for S&G. Something about a horse in that house back there. <clears throat> see what I wrote. Something about a horse. Break off his leg. I guess we go down. That seems weird that it, it's something it would tell you to break off his leg. <clears throat> so this is probably why I thought it was this was the chapter end. I know it's not the chapter end. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, but like I said, with the dog, you're going to want shotgun ammo. I'm going to start saving these keys just as I'm saving the gel. I'm saving the gel for... Um, <clears throat> I'm saving the gel for... Magnum. Uh, and we're, we're saving the... Uh, we're saving the keys for, for if we need a... a if we need keys for a certain part. Now, as you see, I go back a bunch of chapters here. I really shouldn't even do that. I should, um, 
I'm going to start actually having multiple saves per chapter just in case I get to a part uh get to a part that I can't, you know, and I'll create a different video for that. So I'll see you in the next one.